What's going on guys? Power GPU here. Um, finally came in today. I got the i7 3770K. And actually I wanted to do an update too. I didn't really tell you guys as far as what I did with my second 680. I actually got the PNY uh, 680. You can see right behind this RAM. It's the GTX 680 PNY edition. And then I have the Asus GTX 680 which you guys saw me unbox um, on the first video right when I got the 680. The other thing too that came in today was the G-Skill Ripjaw 2133 MHz on there. And then you guys saw me do the unboxing on the MSI GD65 to Z77. Real quick, um, I am going to do a new build. Uh, this is pretty much the new build here as far as I just pretty much swapped out the internal guts. I am going to change my case. I'm kind of tired of the 800D. I might be going to like to the 650D or something. I might do be doing a, a theme, you know getting it wrapped, you know, getting it really nice looking, get some sleeve cables and stuff like that just to make it look really good. Um, I might water cool the 680s, I'm not sure yet, I'm still debating on that. Um, hopefully we'll see later on. But, real quick, I I'm not really going to do an unboxing on the 3770K just because you guys know what's in there. I mean, I'll just take it out real quick and just uh, show you. But, uh, other than that, I can't wait to do some benchmarking on it. It's going to be pretty nice. Honestly, the game, I mean, right now, the only game I'm really playing is Terra Online, which it's not going to use a fraction of this machine. I've been playing on my LAN party rig, uh, rig with 1680 and uh, the 2700K, and I've had no issues at all. It's been running perfectly fine. Of course, you get the user manual and a little sticker. And of course, the piece of crap uh, fan from Intel. So we get that out of the way. And then the processor, which I'm still debating if I want to do a comparison as far as the 2700K versus the Sandy Bridge. Um, I do have both of them. So this is the 3770K here. And then I have in my LAN party rig the 2700K. And I actually, I could do a, if you guys want me to, just put it at the comments at the bottom. Let me know if, if you want me to do it. I could put 1680 in each machine and I could do some benchmarks on it. So that way you guys can see the difference between a 3770K versus a 2700K. Um, I think the real benefit out of 3770K is if you have, you know, multiple GPUs as far as 2680s or 3680s or, or 27970s or 37970s, it opens up bandwidth so you actually get more performance for uh, higher end video cards. But that's pretty much it guys, um, stay tuned for some videos and some benchmarks once I get the machine up and running. And that's pretty much it, PowerGP signing out, I'll see you guys later.